Hey everyone, let's talk about flatworms here for a minute. If you are like me and you have have flatworms and you've been battling it and you've gone through all the different videos and all the different research and you're frustrated, I can tell you I have eliminated them 100%. Uh, if you look at natural predators on the market, they do help. They will help control. They won't eliminate your problem. Natural predators eat mature adult flatworms. Mature adult flatworms do not eliminate the problem. They lay eggs, those eggs hatch into larvae, and then you got flatworms again. So most of the guys out there in the market are gonna help control, they're not gonna eliminate your problem. Same thing with all the chemicals out there. So most of the chemicals out there, or I should say all the chemicals out there, eliminate the mature flatworm. They don't do anything about the larvae, anything about the eggs. So you use the chemical, kill all your mature flatworms. Four or five weeks later, you look at your tank, full bloom again, flatworms are everywhere. You have not eliminated the problem. So how do you break this cycle? How do you eliminate the problem? You've got to be diligent. Uh, here's what I did and a uh, little unorthodox and uh, it's not a product recommendation. Um, I'm just telling you what I did. So I used the Salifert flatworm exit. I, again, first time I used it, five weeks later, flatworms are everywhere because it kills mature flatworms only. It does not kill the larvae or the eggs. So after seeing that, uh, I decided I was gonna have to take a little bit more drastic measures. I used the flatworm exit again waited that 45 minutes. And after that 45 minutes, I put in a second dose. I ran the carbon, took that carbon out, put in fresh carbon, did a water change. And again, throughout this entire process, I'm gonna explain I ran the carbon 24 seven. And I also never turned off my skimmer. So I, I ran that 24 seven as well. So after that first time, flatworm exit, 45 minutes later, Second dose, make sure everything is gone. Turkey baster, the entire rock work. Uh, make sure we get all the nooks and crannies cleared out. Run the carbon, water change. I did about a 15% water change. The next week, repeat. Only one round of flatworm exit though. I did the flatworm exit 45 minutes later, ran the carbon, did the water change continued on. I did this six times for five weeks straight. So six times in a row. Uh, every Sunday for six Sundays, flatworm exit, run my carbon, do my water change. This helped me get to that point where every time eggs hatched, they went through the larvae phase and then they became adults and I got them. So here's a couple pictures of the product I used. It's the Salifert Flatworm Exit. Here is, uh, you're gonna see the date I last purchased it. February, 2019, two years ago. Never had flatworms again, completely gone. Uh, so it did work, it did resolve my problem. Also, I didn't lose anything throughout the entire process no fish lost no coral loss everything kept healthy everything thrived i had zero issues at all again i'm not recommending the product i'm definitely not telling people to use it in this manner i am simply telling you what i did and my results uh, again week one flatworm exit carbon water change Week two, flatworm exit, carbon, water change, six times in a row in order to get those flatworms post the larvae stage before they laid eggs again. And I did that multiple times. I would say after three weeks, I couldn't detect anything. I kept going anyways because the life cycle is about six weeks of these guys and I wanted to make sure nothing was missed. Um, so enjoy. Uh, Hit that subscribe and give me a like. I'm gonna be posting more content like this. So if you wanna hear more about the things that I've done, 
how I've battled different things such as ick and aptasia and things like that. I'm going to be posting more content. Keep an eye out. Uh, good luck with your tank. If you have any questions, hit them in the comments and I'll respond.